Hey, it's me, Blippi. Coming up, we're going to meet flamingos and some special animals called ambassador animals. Let's check them out. So much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout, Blippi! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and look at where I'm at today. Today, I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. Have you ever been to a zoo? Yeah, they're so great. You can see big animals, small animals, even insects if you want. Yeah, I am so excited. Let's go. Whoa, we're in the back of a habitat. This is so cool. Whoa, look at this. Ooh, looks like some animal snacks. Yum. <laughs> okay, I'll put that down right there. Wow. And this is this animal's real food. Yeah, this is what they eat on the daily. Hey, check it out. See this right here? Yeah, you just put some powder in right there, swirl it around, and this is what this animal loves to eat every day. Okay, let me put this back right here. But hey, did you see what we saw right here? Whoa, looks like a feather. This must come from the animal that's in this habitat. Hmm, yeah, feather. Birds have feathers. And do you see? It's the color pink. Whoa! Do you know what animal, bird, is the color pink? Yeah, flamingos! Okay, let me set this down right here. <laughs> and then, let's grab the snacks, and let's go see if we can find the flamingos. Hey, it's John! Hey! Oh, hi, Blippi. How are you? Good. Welcome to our flamingo exhibit. Thank you. What are you doing? I'm um, just raking up the feathers. Oh. And these are our flamingos. Oh, do you see the flamingos? Wow. Do you mind if I get a closer look at them? No, go ahead. All right. Whoa. Hey, let's take a closer look at the flamingos. Oh, hello, flamingos. Hey! Wow. These flamingos are so pretty. Whoa, did you know that when flamingos are born, they're the color white? Yeah, gray, yeah, whitish gray. And then when they get older, they turn the color pink because the food that they eat has a lot of pink in it. Whoa, that is so cool. And you see how tall their legs are? Whoa, they're so long. An adult flamingo, the legs are taller then the whole rest of the body. Wow, that is so crazy. Hey, and do you see how their legs are bending backwards? Yeah, us humans, our legs bend forward. But then, flamingos, their legs bend backwards. And you're probably like, whoa, those are some flexible knees. <laughs> but hey, let me tell you a really cool fact. Do you see that little area right in the center of their legs. Yeah, it looks like their knee. That is actually the flamingo's ankle. Whoa, that's crazy. Well, hey, I think we should throw some of these snacks in the water and see if the flamingos come. Okay. <laughs> All right, here you go. It's the Animal Ambassador Show. Whoa, another great animal. This place is awesome. Hey, what's your name? I'm Susie. Oh, nice to meet you. And who is this? This is Harry. And Harry's a striped skunk. Wow, striped skunk. Yeah, I see black and white. Why are they striped like that? Well, those stripes allow them to alert any predators in the area that he is a skunk, and if they've been around a skunk before, they definitely would not want to get sprayed again. Oh, yeah. Wait, you said spray. Is that the smell that you sometimes smell when you're driving? You've got it, yeah. It's a really strong smell, and you can't mistake it if you've smelled it before, and you definitely can't mistake it if you've been sprayed. <laughs> yeah. So why do they spray again? 
It's their way of defending themselves. So if a skunk feels threatened, the first thing that Harry might do is do some forward charges or some handstands. And that says, hey, don't mess with me. More bad things are coming. And if the animal proceeds to come forward, they might get sprayed. Oh, so it sounds like Harry's a gym gymnast with its handstands. <laughs> That's funny. What's Harry eating? Today he is eating insects. He loves bugs, he loves vegetables, fruit. He even eats meat too. Wow, Harry is so cool. I love skunks. <laughs>
look at her just wrapped up in a tree like this, all comfortable. Whoa! Hello! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I hope she is having a great day! Whoa! She is so big! Right now, she is about seven feet tall. Yeah, that's about 2.3 meters long. Whoa! But she actually gets a lot bigger. She'll even get bigger than this! Whoa! Yeah! She can get about 12 feet tall. That's about four meters long. Whoa, that is so cool. <laughs> wow, check it out. This is blue and blue is a blue tongue skink. Whoa, she looks like a snake, doesn't she? Yeah, a snake with legs. <laughs> but she's not, she's actually a lizard. Whoa, she is so cool looking. Whoa, do you see her tongue? Yeah, it's the color blue. That makes sense. I bet predators think that that tongue could be poisonous. Yeah. Whoa, and do you see her ears? Wow, I bet she can hear really good. <laughs> Whoa, geez, how are you? Are you having a good day? <laughs> Whoa. Wow! Look! This is Tut and this is Cairo. Whoa! Look at them! Hey! They are Egyptian tortoises. Yeah, when I hear tortoise, I think of a big turtle. But these are actually full size. Whoa! Where are you two going? I wonder if they're hungry. <laughs> they actually live in the desert. Yeah. Whoa! That makes sense because Egyptian tortoises. Whoa, look, they're following each other. Whoa, that looks fun. <laughs> Whoa, hello penguin. Hey, did you see that? That was a cute penguin. Whoa, hasn't this been so much fun at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington today? Yeah. I had a lot of fun seeing all these great animals. Hey, what's your favorite animal? Whoa, what a great animal. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi, good job, all right. See you again. Bye-bye. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout. Blippi! Today we're at Odyssey in Scottsdale, Arizona. This is gonna be awesome. I think today you and I should learn about some animals. Whoa, look at this place. Whoa, those are kind of like raindrops. Hello. Okay, let's go over here. gonna be so much fun! Oh, did you see that? I just used two fingers on the back of the head in the back of this Russian sturgeon. Oh, it looks like he liked it. Whoa, it feels so cool. It's hard. It also has kind of a layer of a slippery sludge on it. <laughs> it helps keep all the parasites away. Oh, here's another one. That is awesome! <laughs> Did 
you see that? I just touched the stingray nice and gently with my two fingers on its back. Whoa, okay, let's, uh, let's touch another one. Oh, here's one right over here. Oh, oh hey. Whoa, oh, that's silly. Ooh, come over here. Whoa, there's so many of them. Whoa, look at that one. It's just resting on the ground. That's a different kind. Huh. Oh, here comes one. I'll describe what it feels like. It kind of feels, oh, here's one more. Whoa, yeah, I really know what it feels like now. It feels like a wet gummy bear. <laughs> oh, so slippery and soft at the same time, but firm as well. Wow, <laughs> this is fun. Blippi, what are you doing? Oh, just sitting here looking at my favorite fish, the paddlefish. Ooh, paddlefish? That's pretty cool. It is. Well, see you later. Hope to see you later, Blippi. Whoa, this is pretty cool being behind the scenes of the aquarium. Hello. <laughs> this is awesome. Whoa. Oh, hey. So many cool workers here. Whoa, look at this. We're on top of an aquarium! Whoa, look at all that water and those fish down there! Whoa, okay, follow me. Whoa, look at this room! Whoa, there's so much scuba gear in here, tanks, wetsuits. Whoa, okay, we need to take this fish to the sharks. I bet they're really hungry. Come on! Whoa! Wow. Okay. Whoa, look at this. Whoever drew that is a good artist. It shows the different parts of a shark. Yeah, like the gills. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, look. All right, we did it. Here you go. Hi, thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. What's your name? My name's Danny. Oh, this is Danny, and what are you doing here? So we're here with Right now. Oh, look, I see a fish down there. Look. Whoa, so what? Why is she holding a fish on a pole? So that's how we get the food down to our sharks. If they're already low in the water column, she needs to be able to have a really long tool to get the food down to their mouth. Okay, so they hold the pole, which has a fish on the end, and then the sharks come up and have some supper. <laughs> Ooh, this looks like fun. Whoa, those fish look big. How big is that fish that she's feeding the sharks? It's about this big. It's called a blue fish because it has a kind of blue tint to it. Okay, that's a blue fish. That's about this big. So what kind of fish did I bring up? So you brought up some herring, which is a big fish in here. Okay. And then which is the little fish in here. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Oh. Hey. Well, this is pretty cool seeing someone else do it, but hey, can I feed some sharks? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. okay. Just make sure you have your gloves on so the fish can be kind of stinky. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's put the gloves on so then my hands don't smell like fish for weeks. <laughs> okay. All right. I got my gloves on. Uh, oh, there we go. One glove, two gloves. All right, and now what do I do? So we'll just take this fish bucket that you brought up from our kitchen and we'll head over here. Okay, all right. Okay. All right. We'll head over to our feeding platform. Okay. And as soon as we walk up, the fish will be all ready for us. Okay. Whoa, look. I'm on the platform. Whoa, look, there's no barriers between me and the fish. Okay, I'm just gonna jump in. Oh no. <laughs> just kidding. All right, here we go. Can I throw one at a time? 
Feeding Greta? Yeah. Okay. All right. How do I do it? Just a little bit? Yeah, just a little bit. The whole leaf, you just pop it in front of her. There you go, Greta. Whoa. Hey, what are you doing? It's trying to. Should I throw another one? Oh, sure. There we go. Sometimes you just have to. Okay. All right. Ooh. Greta's hungry. Here you go, Greta. Yum. Here you go. Oh, Greta is really big. Do you know how much Greta weighs? She is a little bit over a hundred pounds. Oh wow, a hundred pounds. Wow. Oh, here you go. <laughs> okay, let's do a big piece. Let's watch Greta eat a whole piece. Here you go. Oh, it's right there. Yeah. Whoa! Hey! Uh -oh. Whoa! That's a big piece of lettuce! Hello! Hey! Hello! Oh, come on! Since we just touched some animals, I think we should use this restroom and wash our hands. Let's go! Okay, welcome to the bathroom. Whoa, look! Whoa! Look! This restroom is underwater. And this restroom actually won the best restroom in America. Whoa, you can wash your hands right here? And look at shark! Sharks and fish! Whoa! This is awesome! <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, I wash my hands. Now I'll go dry them. You enjoy the view. Okay, let's go down the escalator to the deep ocean. <laughs> Come on. like we're underwater. Look this way. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I present to you the deep ocean exhibit. Hello! Hey! 
So this is a sea lion. Oh, there's another one over here. Oh, it's so big. <laughs> so cool. Oh, look, look, look. Oh, hello. <laughs> Whoa. And there's actually a seal in here as well. Let's go try and find it. Oh, let's see. Oh, here it is. Hello. See that right here? This is a seal. Hi. So there's three sea lions in here and one seal. And the easiest way to tell the difference is this. I'll show you. So if you're a sea lion, you use your front flippers to, to basically walk like this. <laughs> but seals don't do that. Seals. Oh, hello. Oh, oh you're curious, huh? <laughs> so curious. Whoa. So that's a sea lion. Mm -hmm. So it walks with its flippers. Hello, 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 hello. They're actually really smart animals. See how it's following me? I'll try and change directions. Whoa! <laughs> okay, and seals, they don't walk like that. You know, this is a sea lion. Sea lion and a seal. They don't have that much power right here, and it's kind of short and stubby. So this is what they do. So they just kind of waddle. That's silly. Wow, what magnificent creatures. Check them out a little bit more. We're behind the scenes at the aquarium, and we're gonna meet some penguins, come on. Okay, let's walk nice and slow, and we'll be very quiet as well. Ooh, hey, who are you? Hutch. Ooh, this is Hutch. Hey, what do you do here? I work with the penguins and reptiles. Ooh, the penguins and the reptiles. Oh, do you see the penguins back there? Oh, hello. Are these your only two penguins here? Oh, no, we have more friends that are coming. Would you like to grab a toy? We're actually going to play with them. Sure. Okay, let's grab a toy and let's see some more penguins. Look over there. Also can see colors really well and have rods and cones in their eyes just like we do. Okay. They're kinda, although they're birds, they're kinda acting like kitty cats, huh? Just a little bit. They do like to play with a lot of different types of toys. And just like kitty cats, they tell us when they want to be touched. Okay. Huh, interesting. It's pretty cool. Hey, get a closer look. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs> Penguins are so silly. So where are these penguins from? These penguins are from South Africa. And hey. we have 32 of them here at the aquarium. Wow, 32 penguins here. And these are from South Africa? Yes. Not Antarctica? Not Antarctica. There are actually one of several species of penguins that prefer the warm climate. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Interesting. Warm climate and penguins. I guess you learn something every day. <laughs> hey, let's take a seat right over here. And then Hutch is gonna bring a penguin over. <laughs> I'm so excited. I get to touch a penguin. Ooh, hello. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna 
touch the penguin with two fingers gently on its back. Hey, are you ready? felt so soft. Did you know penguins have 70 feathers per square inch? Yeah, they're really small and really dense. Can I touch the gam punch? Yes, you can. Okay. Does that feel good? You like that? She's showing off for you. What does that mean when she shakes her head? So that means she's really happy, uh, and you might be her new boyfriend. <laughs> I hope she doesn't want to kiss. <laughs> oh, hello! This is a little blue penguin. It's pretty small. Whoa! And this board has the sizes of different penguins. Oh, like the penguin I met today, an African penguin. Whoa, and they just keep getting bigger. Whoa, whoa, look how big they're getting. Whoa, look how big this penguin is. Whoa, four feet tall, 1.3 meters high. Jeez, look how big it is. Oh, whoa, that's a really big penguin. A toucan! <laughs> Do you see its beak? <laughs> kind of looks like the shape of a banana. A really colorful banana. <laughs> There's another bird over here. Come on! Whoa! Hello! <laughs> a colorful parrot! Hey! How are you? <laughs> Whoa! Looks like it's yellow, blue, and on its head, is green! <laughs> hey! Hey, there's another animal right over here I want to show you. Come on! Whoa, look! Look at this animal! It's moving really slow! <laughs> Do you know what animal this is? Yeah, this is a sloth. Let's act like a sloth together. Hello! How are you? Ah! 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 <laughs> That's funny. All right, hello. are otters and they're so cute. Look at them go underwater. Whoa. I bet they can hold their breath for a really long time. Whoa. They're so fast. Whoa. <laughs> they kind of look like water cats. <laughs> but they're not kitty cats. <laughs> Whoa. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, another one. <laughs> cool! Whoa! That was so much fun learning about all these creatures at Odyssey in Scottsdale, Arizona with you. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi, good job. All right, see you soon. <laughs> so much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout Blippi. Hey, 
Today, I am at a giant ranch with my good friends, Axe family. Howdy, everyone. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun because we're gonna check out some horses, cows, and other fun ranching stuff. Hey, Blippi, why don't you go get a saddle and we'll saddle up. <gasps> Woohoo! This is gonna be fun. Look at where we are. We are inside a real cow barn. <laughs> Axe family's gonna bring in the horse, and in the meantime, I'll show you around. <gasps> Look, this is where cow dogs stay. Here's another one. Ah! <laughs> come on! Oh, and another one! Look, come here! Must be out working because the door's open. The cowboys must have got him. But look, hello! No one's in there! <laughs> Look at this! Hey! No, really! Hey! This is hay! And it's so tasty looking! Just kidding! Tasty to cows and horses, not to humans! Whoa! <laughs> Do you see that? Look! Take a really close look! Whoa! <laughs> Yummy! Shoot and a head catch. <laughs> this is where the livestock go right over here to go to the doctor and get all their vaccinations. <laughs> This is what you put the hay on, wheel it out there, and then go feed it to the cows. Whoa! 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 I just got really dizzy. Okay, one last place. Come in here. Whoa, this is the tack room. Look, whoa, all these saddles. Okay, in order to ride a horse, I need your help. Let's pick our favorite saddle, okay? Come on. This one? Nah. This one? Nah. This one looks like a great one. Okay, but first, we need a horse pad. These up top. Oh, oh, come here. Look at this one. Do you know what color this is? Yeah, one of my favorite too. Blue. <laughs> okay, let's grab this horse pad. And we'll grab this one right here. And then we also need a bridle. Come on. Okay, got the bridle. Let's put it on the saddle. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Urgh. Okay. Hey, thanks, Blippi, for grabbing the tap. Yeah. Why don't you hand me the saddle pads? All right. We'll those, put those on first. Saddle pads? What do those do? Saddle pads go on underneath your saddle to put some cushion. Mm. For the horse. The saddle is what the cowboy sits in. Okay. And so this goes on the horse 
after the pads and it'll strap onto the horse so that the rider will have a place to sit. The bridle Ooh. or the head stall. Okay. And a, a cowboy or cowgirl uses a bridle to steer the horse. Ooh, like a steering wheel. <laughs> so, like this. And then over its ears, like this. And well. you control the bridle with what we call reins. Oh. So these are the steering wheel to the horse. Okay. Well, does that mean that I'm ready to steer the horse? I think so, Blippi. <laughs> All right, Blippi, your turn. All right. Whoa. Okay. Well, here I go. Have a good ride. Thanks. Here I go. Whoa. This horse is dark brown. <laughs> she is so beautiful. This horse's name is Fancy, and she is so fancy. That was so much fun. Not only is Fancy a beautiful animal, but we use her and the other horses as workhorses to move cattle around the ranch. That was sure a blast riding a horse. Let's go see what else there is on this great ranch. And now for their biggest machine at the ranch. Now that's a big machine. Woo! Now that the skidgen is parked and it's safe to get up really close, my good friend Cody from Axe Family. Hey everybody. <laughs> he'll show you around. Are you ready? Yeah! Let's go. Okay, so this skidgen is actually used for fighting wildfires. It's, it's like a fire truck and a monster truck combined. You see these big tires? This is just like a monster truck tire. Look how huge it is. These are so the skidgen doesn't get stuck when it's out in the wilderness. Let's go up here to the front. Up here we have the plow and we have the brush guard. And this goes down to the ground and it pushes and it clears all the brush and it makes a fire line so that when the fire comes to the fire line, it'll stop. Come on here to the back. In the back we have a giant water tank. Right here, this is full of water. It's about 1,100 
gallons of water. And there's a hose reel right here. And this red hose, you can pull it out and run it out to a fire and put it down. There's also a turret up on the top that spins around and sprays water. But before I show you that, let's go on inside the cab. All right, so now we're on the inside of the skidgen. Let me show you around. This is the steering wheel, and this is basically what's used to drive the skidgen around. And if you look right up here, this is the dash where all the gauges are. And if you press on this button right here, that's the horn. You see that? Now look down here by my feet. This is the brake pedal, and this is the gas pedal. And then right here, there's this little lever. This controls the blade up at the front of the skidgen. Let me show you the coolest part. This is the joystick that controls the water cannon. Watch, I'm gonna spray some water. filming at this giant ranch. So much to learn about, it'll make you wanna shout, Whippy!